Hey guys, hope that your preparations for J mains are going well. Though we can understand that many of you will be lost in the sea of concepts and questions, trying hard to find your way out of the complexities. While revising, you might not feel the desired level of comfort with the topics, which further drives stress and anxiety. Don't worry. We at ASJ have analyzed the last 40 years of JE question papers and have covered all the types of questions that can be asked in the JE examination in a visual manner. It has been scientifically established that it is easier to remember patterns, stories, and visuals or images than formulas or numbers. With the visuals of question types, ASJ also provides the description of the question type along with the questions asked in the previous JE examinations. Without further ado, let's take an example of the question types belonging to angular momentum in rotation. Let's see what types of questions are coming in the JE mains and advanced related to angular momentum. In the first type involving rearrangement of rotating masses, there is an external force but it is radial or centrifugal meaning it does not create any torque so the angular momentum of the rotating mass that is i omega should remain constant in the second question type involving rearrangement of masses you have a situation wherein the involved surfaces are smooth meaning there are no dissipative frictional forces involved only the gravitational and normal forces meaning not only the angular momentum is conserved but also the mechanical energy which includes potential and kinetic in the third question type involving rearrangement of masses relative to each other you might be given a rotating disk with a mass on it for example an insect that is moving in straight line relative to the disk at a constant relative speed either along the diameter or along a chord and you will be expected to determine the angular speed of the disk as a function of the position of the mass on the disk with that let's talk about scenarios wherein two rotating masses for example this collapse together that is they are gently pressed against each other and the friction force between the two causes the two disks to achieve a common angular speed But remember that if you consider two disks together as your system then the frictional force and corresponding torque are internal and as such will not affect the overall angular momentum of the system that is some of the angular momentum of the two rotating masses or disks Now let's talk about scenarios where you have a completely inelastic collision between a rigid body that is hinged at some point and a particle moving at some velocity. So, after the collision the particle sticks to the rigid body and both rotate at the same angular speed. Once again, the collision forces are internal and as such will not affect the angular momentum of the rigid body and the particle system. In the next question type involving conservation of angular momentum, you might have a sharp impact between a linearly moving rigid body and a stationary off-center obstacle. Meaning the obstacle is not in the path of the center of mass, which will then throw the rigid body in rotation as well after the impact. Here, note that collision or the impact forces will not have any moment about the point of collision which means that there is no torque about the point of collision and as such the angular momentum of the rigid body about the collision point should remain unchanged with that now let's move to the last question type of conservation of angular momentum that involves the disintegration of a rigid body hinged at a point that is some point masses fly off at a certain velocity Here also remember that the forces involved in the disintegration are all internal to the system which involves particles that flew away and the rigid body or the mass left behind so once again the angular momentum is conserved about the hinge or the rotational axis passing through the hinge note that in all these question types at least one of the body is hinged at a point or along the rotational axis and remember 
that the hinge forces will not have any moment arm or torque about the rotational axis, meaning they do not impact the angular momentum of the system about the rotational axis. As you can see that if you proceed with the right approach, J preparation becomes smooth and easy. Note that we have covered detailed question types for all physics topics for J mains and advanced preparation. Not only this, we are also providing crisp and concise lecture videos along with the summary notes and concept questions with each video. For cracking the J exam, we are also providing earwise question bank and mock test where you can assess your preparation. We realize that you are going to have a number of doubts while going through the topics. Don't you worry. We have got your back. We have a team of expert IITians to solve your doubts quickly and comprehensively.